Welcome back to our higher level IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 15, Energetics, where we will be looking at further definitions, born harbour cycles, and lattice and hydration enthalpies. Before you get stuck into this video, ensure you watch our IB Chemistry Topic 5 video series, as it lays out the foundation for much of the content in this video. As covered in the standard level topic, there are several forms of enthalpy change, including the standard enthalpy changes of reaction, formation, combustion, and neutralization. However, for IB chemistry higher level, you need to know an additional four definitions. These are enthalpy of atomization, the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms are formed from its element in its standard state. It is endothermic, for example, Li solid goes to Li gaseous, or 0.5 Cl2 gaseous goes to Cl gaseous. Enthalpy of hydration, the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions are dissolved in water to form an infinitely dilute solution. This is also referred to as enthalpy of solvation. It is always exothermic. For example, Cl- gaseous goes to Cl aqueous. Enthalpy of solution, the enthalpy change when one mole of a solute is dissolved in excess pure solvent, it can either be exo or endothermic. For example, LiBr solid goes to Li plus aqueous plus Br minus aqueous. And lattice enthalpy. The enthalpy change when one mole of a solid ionic lattice is broken into its individual gaseous ions. This process is endothermic. For example, BeF2 goes to Be2 plus gaseous plus 2F minus gaseous. Two concepts you have already encountered in topic 3 also come up in this topic with some additional information. Ionization energy and electron affinity. Ionization energy is the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons are removed from one mole of gaseous atoms. It is always an endothermic reaction. For example, Na goes to Na plus plus E minus. Electron affinity is the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms. It is usually an exothermic reaction. For example, Ca2 plus plus E minus goes to Ca plus. So how do these other types of enthalpy changes relate to a question in the exam? Well, questions typically test your understanding that bond enthalpy values require substances to be in a gaseous state. Therefore, one must apply Hess's law and use these new enthalpy changes to find an alternative pathway, converting the species to a gaseous state so that bond enthalpies can be used. Application of multiple enthalpy changes in this way is known as a three-stage energy cycle. They come up a lot in exams, so let's look at one together. Work out the enthalpy change for the following process, using bond energies from a data booklet and the enthalpy changes below. First, we must convert all species to the gaseous state. So, the first reaction must occur once to convert C2H5OH, and the second reaction twice to convert both carbons. Thus, our overall enthalpy change so far is 50 plus 2 times 718, which gives 1486. Now, we can find the enthalpy change for the reaction using our formula, Total enthalpy of bonds broken, subtract total enthalpy of bonds made. So, bonds broken is 3 times HH bonds plus 0.5 OO bonds, which gives 1,557 kilojoules. Then, bonds made is 1 CC bond plus 1 CO bond plus 1 OH bond plus 5 CH bonds, which gives 3,237 kilojoules. So, the reaction enthalpy change is 1,557 subtract 3,237, which gives negative 1,680 kilojoules. We therefore add this to the overall enthalpy change to get the final answer, negative 194 kilojoules. And that's it. Hopefully you now feel confident using any enthalpy change in this way. However, you must also be capable of applying Hess's law to ionic compounds in larger energy cycles, known as Born-Haber cycles. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. 
If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.